I ain't gonna lie, it was hard. <laughs> but you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Hey guys, so welcome to another YouTube video. And guys, we are going to talk about a detox. Now, hear me out. <laughs> I've done plenty of detoxes before and I know the value of a good quality detox. Um, but ever since I moved here, I've been eating like trash. Not trash like, oh girl, you eating all this red meat. Nope, no red meat, no pork, not a lot of processed food. You know, I eat healthy. Oh. I eat healthy pretty much Monday through Friday. So like, you know, meal prepping, watching sugar and stuff like that. But I just knew, you know, I was more bloated than normal. I felt a little sluggish, even when I was going to the gym, cause I work out, I work out like four times a week. I was like, you know, I think I need to do another detox. So a friend referred me to Dr. Bobby's detox, right? And I'm just looking at his little card that you get once you order it. So I did the 14 day detox, right? And it comes with your detox tea and your parasite cleanse. Um, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> me. Let's just jump to that point if you were wondering. No, I don't think I've ever had a detox a detox drink that did taste good or a tea or like a shot. And if it did taste good, I would question it anyway because no, I wouldn't believe it. But I did this 14 day detox and you guys, it was amazing. I'm gonna do a little screen share so you can see the process of me making the tea, but it was great. So pretty much um, the tea bags, I threw the tea bags away um, once I was done. I was like, oh shoot, why don't I document this? And I didn't think about it till the process was long gone and I was already done. But you <laughs> get two tea bags like that. And you're going to use two tablespoons. I mean, his instructions are here. You're going to use two tablespoons, um, like a regular spoon, and put each into a jar, hot water. I steep overnight in the refrigerator. In the morning, you're going to see that process. I strain it out. I cut orange slices um, to help me drink it. I've seen some people just, you know, drink it regularly, get a straw, just enjoy it. Not for me. The detox tea, I can drink alone. But the parasite, mm -mm. I know that bitter herb taste. Um, in the past, I've done Detox Trio. It was another detox that the gospel singer Yolanda Adams used to promote. And that worked as well, but oh my God. <laughs> the taste is something else. Um, I didn't do it. I didn't do it personally like to lose weight. I do did it to like feel lighter. I was being bloated and also to see if I had any parasites. Which I did. So let me tell you, I think it's about Google it. Doesn't Google say like 70 or 80% of 60, 70% of Americans are living with parasite, including children they don't know. And if you go to Dr. Bobby's uh, Instagram page or his YouTube page, you know, he'll talk about signs that you may have a parasite. So let's go down memory lane. Let's go down memory lane. Years ago, <laughs> I was the person who loved sushi. And I wasn't the best eater back then. I mean, I still wasn't eating red meat. I mean, no red meat, no pork, blah, blah, blah. But I love sushi. I had a strong desire to go to happy hour and eat sushi. It was this restaurant in Virginia called Kona Grill. And happy hour, you can come, you know, get all your little sushi rolls, your crab, your veggie, your, your regular fish sushi, sushi, you know, all of it. All of it, all of it, all of it. I ate it all. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> so one day I noticed like it was like a rash a rash that was like forming on my arm at first I thought I had like a wing worm but it wasn't like I didn't know what it was so I would put like the like an ointment on it I'm used to self-medicating myself so I would put like an ointment on it drink some water change my detergent change my lotion I did not know what this was that was on my arm that would not go away. And it was there for months. I was taking um, antibiotics, just like 
I didn't know what it was. I had no clue. And back then, um, a friend introduced me to Yolanda's, Yolanda Adams Detox Trio. And I was like, oh, you know, I guess I can try it. Tastes terrible as well. But um, TMI. When I went to the bathroom, it looked like a worm was in the toilet. Yeah, disgusting, right? And to think of the stats that are like, even you could be watching me with a parasite in your body that you don't know. Like it was disgusting. And the next couple of days, you know, once I was doing a detox and the detox was doing what the detox was supposed to do, I ain't changed nothing else of like my routine as far as what I was trying to do to make this rash on my arm go away. It went away in like three days. So you know what's going in the going on in the inside reflects on the outside. And I know, and I knew. So like I've had a long health journey <laughs> that I'll talk more about, but I knew this. Um, this is a parasite. I got more into taking care of my gut and gut gut health, which you know, that's like another video with my gut health and thyroidism and a whole bunch of other stuff that I've been dealing with, but overcoming by eating the correct way, exercising, making water my best friends, avoiding a whole bunch of toxic chemicals that we use every single day. But back to Dr. Doc, Dr. Bobby Price's um, cleanse. It was amazing. I lost, this was only 14 days. I lost a total of 12 and a half pounds. Again, I wasn't doing it for weight loss. I was actually doing it to you're supposed to like detox your body, cleanse your body about, I don't know, twice a year, however often you should do it because, you know, there's a whole bunch of junk that's sitting in your body and that's gross. Um, would I do it again? Absolutely. Uh, it was so, it was so beneficial and I ate the way that he says to eat. And I'm just looking at the card. He was like, you know, for breakfast or lunch, he does green smoothies um fruit bowls teas and for dinner salads quinoa stir fry soups and wraps so you eat clean you know there's no meat no dairy no processed food um no sweet stuff like no sugars no sugar substitutes so for his clean um, for this cleaning process every day i had a green smoothie so i use kale strawberries blueberries, um, coconut water, because normally I would use uh, Calif, Calif um, extra creamy oat milk, and I love it, but I use coconut water. It still, it still tastes great to me. I put a little cinnamon in it, um, but that was my breakfast every day. This really nice, thick, <laughs> green smoothie that I enjoyed. I put as much frozen fruit in it as I want to because it was delicious. Um, and then, you know, you drink, when I say breakfast, like breakfast didn't start till like 12 o'clock because you're drinking two mason jars, two 32 ounce mason jars full of this drink. Um, and do not go, do not go. <laughs> like he says it, don't go or you gonna crap. Guess what I did on the first day? The first day I took a sip, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, this is unbearable. So I text my friend and she was like, oh, just get orange slices and suck on them throughout the process. It's going to, it's going to really help. Day two would be better. And she was right. Day two was better, but day one, I gulped. I gulped and it felt like, you know, those, um, people did be kickboxing. It felt like I had a fighter just like kickboxing in my stomach all day. Like it was, it was so bad. It was so bad. But day two, day three, day four, after that, like, it became so much easier to consume the drink. The orange slices, I didn't even need towards the end of this process, but don't gulp. Whatever you do, don't gulp. <laughs> Take your time and sip it. And to me, for me, I normally wake up at 4 a.m. I have like a morning routine. I normally make wake up at like 4 a.m. You know, I do 
prayer, I still work out. So while I was doing this, I still worked out. Um, I go to the gym in my apartment complex. I do about 20 minutes of cardio, light, like walking on the incline. And then I do weight um, resistance training. I'm really big into that. So I still worked out. I didn't just, you know, sit here. <laughs> I still worked out. Um, I will come back, take a shower, um, go in the refrigerator, and the video you're gonna see, you know, strain my teas out, put them behind me right here at my desk, and get started on the day, and slowly sip, and I'm normally done by 11.30 a.m., close to noon. So close to noon, I'm consuming breakfast, my green smoothie, right? You know, I'm still drinking water throughout the day. Um, I would eat lunch, and I prefer to eat lunch heavier than dinner so for lunch just like he had i would have um like a quinoa stir fry so just quinoa with a whole bunch of vegetables like whatever with a whole bunch of vegetables not crazy on the salt more herbs i love pepper more herbs and things like that and for dinner i would make a massive salad <laughs> like a massive salad and i would sprinkle um the hemp seeds the hemp seeds on the salad. I'll make my own salad dressing. I know it probably sounds like, oh my God, that's a lot, but it's really not. You know, I'll make my own salad dressings with tahini or just like lemon juice. Um, there's so many Googleable ways to make your own healthy salad dressing that's not packed with sodium. So that's how I ate every day um, during the cleanse. And I ain't gonna lie. Did I miss a day? Yeah. Sundays, because I go to church on Sunday mornings. And once you get into drinking, you kind of going to know how your body, it was just like clockwork. And I didn't want to be in church <laughs> to like get up and run to the bathroom. I didn't think that was cool. So you're, you're all, you are supposed to stick to it daily. But I went to church. I, I did not take it <laughs> on Sunday. So my cleanse went a little bit past 14 days just because, you know, I could have did Bedside Baptist, but I wanted to go to church. It, I was happy, you know, as we were getting down to the, to the last couple of days. I was rejoicing like, yes, I did it. Because I want to tell you, I didn't think I could do it. <laughs> I didn't think I could do it. Because I know the last detoxes, the last detoxes I've done has just been like a shot. But this was like a whole mason jar. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm getting my water in and I'm doing this detox with it as well. But I think you all can do it. There's nothing to it but to do it. Dr. Bobby Price, get it. It's beneficial. You're going to lose weight. You're going to have energy. And after this, it also changes your eating habits. For me, if I take a quality detox, there's no way once I'm done, I can go and sit down and eat a whole cheese pizza. You know, I just can't. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the mental part too. It's like I just done, I've done all of this work. Why mess it up for just one little quick moment of enjoyment? Now after it, have I like eight things that are like outside of it? Yeah, but I haven't gone like crazy. Um, so it definitely changed, they always do. They change your eating habits especially sugar cravings. So before the start, I was eating M&Ms like every day. Cause you know, like the holiday M&Ms came out and I had like cute little M&Ms on my counter because of Christmas and I was in M&Ms every day. I was eating chocolate M&Ms every single day. And now, but I got off of it, I was done. I didn't really want to go out and buy a big piece of strawberry cake. I mean, I had strawberry cake. It was at a birthday party, but I won't out trying to go buy no strawberry cake, okay? But, and yes, um, did I have a parasite again? You're probably wondering, well, did Christine get another parasite? Yes, I did. And maybe I'm just the person that kind of looks. <laughs> I mean, I think we all look a little bit when we poop. We all look a little bit. But yeah, I got, it was another parasite, another one. I told my friends and they were like, oh my God, that's so disgusting. I'm like, look, if I'm more accustomed to doing these detoxes and y'all ain't did one and God knows how long you got to have one, you got a parasite. Um, but yeah, another parasite was found during this detox. Um, and again, 
do the right thing guys do the right thing thank you so much for watching this video i hope it has inspired you to get healthy both inside and out dr Pri dr bobby price excuse me is not endorsing me i just get excited about talking about healthy stuff or stuff that can change the way you feel every single day inside mental clarity all that great stuff so thanks guys for watching um have a good day